There's a little tear there on number nine. Dilemma, right? What do you do? So first of all, you stay calm. Nobody's dying today, right? We're going, we're going to be fine. What's the worst case scenario? Patient will have irregular gum tissue or we have a little bit of recession. We can always graft it. So what I decided is, first of all, not to worry about the tear. Suture the flap in the papilla and see how the tear aligns. If the tear is, if, it, if I suture in a certain way and the tear stays open, not a good thing. But if it aligns in the suturing, I can then glue it. Okay, so uh, you know you want to keep it, keep things nice and clean. So I first of all suture away from the tear. You see, I engage the papilla in the middle of the papilla. You don't have to do it as a one shot. Okay, so just the let's call it the surgical papilla, which is part of the flap. Then we go in to the interproximal, okay? Then we ask the patient to open so I can get the edge of the needle. So simple interrupted? Simple interrupted. If you have a large papilla, you can use a vertical mattress. The ability to, to raise what you do to another level, certainly to another level. Dr. Simon was my instructor 13 years ago at USC and he's a great teacher. Uh, Dr. Simon is an excellent teacher. Without further ado, Dr. Simon, bless us with your knowledge, sir.